This is M from Range and Counterintelligence. I'm the guy behind the documentary, The Secret Subversion of American Orthodoxy. I have some bad news. The documentary was removed by Fordham University. They contacted YouTube and filed a copyright injunction because I featured content from their channel. I've re-uploaded the documentary to Rumble as a four-part series. The link is in the description below. I will also re-upload it to YouTube without the section on Fordham, and hopefully they won't take it down again. I want to be completely clear. This copyright claim is totally bogus. The content that was used was in the context of my documentary, in the context of criticizing an institution, presenting research, and raising awareness for a cause. This is well within fair use policy. This uh, copyright claim, it's censorship, plain and simple. But this doesn't surprise me at all. Once again, they've shown us who they are. They talk about academic freedom and dialogue and open discussion. They say all these things, but then the second you criticize them, go against them, contradict them, what do they do? They censor you. They cancel you. They threaten you. This is who they are. This is what they do. People have asked me, are, are you going to fight this? Are you going to appeal it? And the short answer is no, I'm not. I spoke to a lawyer friend of mine. He's one of the few honest ones. Thank God for Orthodox lawyers. And he told me if I want to get the video reinstated, I need to submit what's called a counter notification. This involves divulging my personal information. And if YouTube does decide to reinstate my video, Fordham would be able to file a lawsuit to get it off of YouTube. And so I would have to fight that. And I don't know how long that would take. I don't know how much that would cost. And at the end of the day, YouTube still reserves the right to remove content for any and all reason whatsoever. And they don't even have to tell you why. They can just delete your video and there's nothing you can do about it. So even if I were to win, uh, YouTube could still decide to remove the video. Another thing to take into consideration is that they could be trying to lure me out to get me to reveal my identity, and then they could sue me for something completely different, such as uh, defamation, harassment, invasion of privacy, whatever. Uh, because I did name a lot of names. I exposed a lot of people in that documentary. I don't think they'd have any basis for that whatsoever. I don't think they have any basis for this copyright claim. But unfortunately, the way the legal system is designed, it's designed to favor these big, big institutions, big corporations. It's not designed for the little people. Uh, it is what it is. But the fact that they felt the need to reach out to YouTube and get it removed it shows that we did something right. It shows that we hit a nerve that we got under their skin. And that's exactly what we want to do. We also need to remember who we are. We're Christians. I'm not mad at Fordham. I'm not angry at these subverters. I'm not sad about what happened. Uh, I'm a little sad for them that they felt the need to do this. But I'm praying for them. I hope for that they are converted that they turn away from, you know, these uh, anti-Orthodox positions that they have. And I, I pray for their salvation. And I encourage everyone to do the same because we need to love our enemies and, and to forgive them. Uh, and we also need to understand that, you know, if they persecuted Jesus, they're going to persecute us as well. No man is above his master. And so this is normal for us. We should expect this. We should rejoice in this and, and be grateful that we're counted worthy for some little minimum amount of persecution. Censorship is it's a reality of the society we live in. It's a reality of the world we live in. It's not just YouTube. When I uploaded the video originally, I shared it on Reddit and I shared it to the Orthodox Christianity subreddit. And it got removed for being a quote-unquote conspiracy theory. And then the moderators banned me permanently from the subreddit. So uh, it's not just YouTube. Censorship is everywhere. And we just got to, it's something we have to just deal with. 
you know, some people ask me, well, why did you even upload it to YouTube in the first place? Uh, why don't I just upload it to Rumble from the get-go? Several reasons for that. Number one, YouTube has a much bigger audience at the time it was uploaded. At the time it was removed, it had 17,500 views, uh, over 600 likes, 360 comments. So it had a big outreach. Lots of people were exposed to it. Lots of people saw it. Lots of people commented on it. You know, lots of important discussions were started because of it. And so that would not have been possible on any other platform. Another thing to take into account is that it's a big file. It's 50 gigabytes. Rumble has a 15 gigabyte upload limit. So I had to split it up into four parts. And so instead of having it in one location, it's in four locations. Uh, there's four different common threads. It just adds a layer of complexity and it's a lot easier to have everything in one place, one link, one common section. It just makes everything a lot easier. YouTube also has better quality. It has better compression software. You can upload directly from your video editing software directly to YouTube. You know, you don't have to like convert it to a video and then upload that video to whatever website. So, you know, it's being compressed twice as opposed to only being compressed once. Every time you compress a, a file, it loses some of its quality. And so th this was especially important for my documentary where you had a lot of excerpts that you had to pause to read and you need to have a decent quality video to be able to do that. YouTube's just easier to share on uh, almost every website, every social media has built in YouTube player. So it's, it just makes it easier to share it. At the end of the day, YouTube still is king. It still is the best platform to reach people on. So it, it is a loss. It is a loss. You know, the, those comments, uh, that were lost, the comment section. I mean, there were some really great threads going on, some really great input that people had. I mean, all that's gone and you know, that's, that's irreplaceable. So it is a loss, but it is what it is. The video accomplished a lot of what it set out to do. It achieved a lot of its goals. Lots of people were made aware of things they didn't know about before. Lots of discussions, like I said, were started, and I'm sure they'll be continued. So it already achieved uh, what it set out to do. And so we shouldn't be intimidated by these big academia, by these uh, NGOs, by the, these big institutions. We shouldn't be intimidated by them. We shouldn't be discouraged. Keep fighting the good fight. Uh, keep fighting for the truth. People deserve to know what's going on in the church. They deserve to know what's happening with these NGOs, with these universities, uh, with this big money that's trying to subvert our religion. Uh, people have a right to know about that and to know what's going on and to see the evidence for themselves and to draw their own conclusions. So don't be discouraged. And I also want to say thank you to everyone who supported me, everyone who encouraged me, everyone who sent me messages of support, everyone who watched the documentary, who shared it, who liked it, who commented. I'm super grateful for all of you. I sincerely appreciate you. And, you know, it means a lot to me. It's a huge moral boost. It's, it's a huge encouragement for me. So thank you. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes.